Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a new foundation from Selfridges. I ordered this last week and it came. It took just under a week to get here. I got the Guerlain Les Essentiels High Perfection 24 Hour Wear. Now I do have the Guerlain Glow Foundation, which I really, really enjoy. And so I thought I would try the matte foundation because you know me with my oily skin, I always like to try matte foundations. And I know a lot of people say, who wears foundation for 24 hours? I know when I used to work as a nurse, I worked 12 hour shifts, but there were times where we did overtime and we would work 18 to 24 hours. So this would be great for people like that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Selfridges says on their website about this. It says, we're all after the perfect makeup look, but that flawless, long-lasting finish is hard to come by, or so we thought. Leave it to Guerlain to perfect the formula with the La Essential High Perfection 24-Hour Wear Foundation. With vegetal silk to mattify and white cocoa beans to tend to your skin, the matte formula leaves your complexion looking seriously immaculate, protected from harmful UVA, UVB rays, because it's got SPF of 15, and gives a full 24 hours wear. Great news for those of us who'd rather not spend all day doing touch-ups. So that's what this is. And it comes in, I think it said 30 shades. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is available in 30 shades. They do need to do a little bit better, a better job of being inclusive because the darker range is not as extensive as it should be. So I got mine in the color 3N Natural. So in the Glow Foundation, I have four natural, and I got three natural because this four natural was just a little bit dark for me. And look at this, the Glow Foundation is in a clear bottle and the matte foundation is in this um, matte bottle. That's a good way to be able to know, and I'm gonna cross my fingers that this works for me. And it comes with a pump. Now I do have my skincare on and um, SPF. I'm not gonna put any primer on because I wanna see how this wears. So let's go ahead and this, oh, it looks like it might be a good color for me. Let's see. Yeah, that might be a good color for me. So it says on the instructions to use a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes. And I'm going to, oh, you know what? I should have just done half my face. <laughs> Got too excited there. And it looks like this is gonna be a good color for me, maybe just a tad light, but I can always bronze up. And my uninvited guest right there. I am liking the coverage I love. Okay, let me bring you in closer so you can see half my face. See, it's not sitting on top of my skin right there. Sorry, I already put that on there, but it's doing a pretty good job of covering my hyperpigmentation. It's blending into the skin pretty good so far. It looks like I may have some dry patches right there, but it's not dry. We'll see how it sinks into my skin. So far, I like it, and I think I got a good color. Okay, let's finish off the rest of the face. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let me see if I can um, add a little bit more to the areas of hyperpigmentation so I can use less concealer. Ooh, that does a pretty good job. I feel like I don't even need concealer right there. That would be nice, right? Because I don't expect to cover up my uh, hyperpigmentation 100%. I just want it to be diminished. Okay, let's finish off this side. Okay, I'm gonna get just a little bit more, another half pump. Oh, I got a good color, you guys. I hope this wears as well as the Glow Foundation. The Glow Foundation is beautiful, even on my oily skin. I do have to powder more often, but I'm okay with that because with my oily skin, I have to powder a lot. Okay, that's what my face looks like. 
Okay, so far. It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put another, just a tiny bit, a second layer. So I only got a tiny, tiny bit to cover up my hyperpigmentation and I'm gonna not use a concealer there. I'll just use one on my uninvited guest and under my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer and I have mine in the shade Suma. 1.5 I think is what it is and I'm just going to put a little bit of that under my eyes. I don't really need that much. Maybe around my nose right there. And then I'm going to use the color 2 for this little uninvited guest right here. And then we'll blend that out. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush for this. And whatever's left, I'm going to put it on my eyelids. I'm really curious to see how this foundation is going to wear. Now, I did get this off of Selfridges. I don't know if it's going to where it's going to land in the U.S., but if I find it when I um, if I find that it's available here in the U.S., I will go ahead and link that in the in the description box below. Okay, so far I'm pleased. Okay, I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and kind of just press that into my skin just to make sure it all melts in beautifully. Okay, I think it looks good. Let me bring you guys in closer so you guys can all get a look. There's a look at my forehead. Tap that in right there. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Okay, I'm going to set my makeup, my foundation. Okay, under my eyes, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, and this is in number one. And I'm just going to use that under my eyes and on my eyelids. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the One Size by Patrick Star. This is the powder I've been using recently. Put some onto my cap. And then I'm going to use my La Mer brush and just kind of stipple that in to see how this wears for the rest of the day. So I'll do a wear test to see how this wears today. I'm so excited. I do love doing complexion products. Okay, so it's 1025. I'm going to put on the rest of my face and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I have the rest of my face on. I'm trying the Suku Spring 2021 collection. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will go ahead and link that up here. But let's go ahead and do the wear test. I finished my foundation at 1025. I'll bring you in closer so you can see what it looks like with all the makeup on. It looks great on my forehead. This is what it's looking like and I didn't even put any concealer on my hyperpigmentation. I did some lip swatches so it might be kind of funky here but I think it still looks good. Okay. Okay, I'll see you back in a few hours to see how this wears. Okay, it is almost four o'clock, so it's been five and a half hours since I put on this Guerlain Matte Foundation, and let's take a closer look. So the forehead, I think, looks good, and around the cheeks looks good. Don't mind the mascara. It's that Charlotte Tilbury push-up mascara that does not work on me. It's The foundation's breaking up around my nose, but that's always expected. I think it looks pretty good. I haven't powdered yet. And I think I look okay for not having powdered. What do you guys think? I'm going to keep this on for a few more hours to see how it wears. But so far, so good. Okay, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, I'm back. It is almost 7.30. So I've been wearing this foundation for nine hours. Have not touched up at all. So let's go ahead and take a look. I look more oily than I actually am because of all of these lights, but let's go ahead and take a look. I think this foundation wore really well. Don't mind the mascara. I've already had to wipe off chunks from the push-up mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. So frustrating. I've had like clumps coming all over my face. <laughs> but it did break up around my nose, but that's typical for me. 
So I think it wore really well. I'm surprised. This is the least greasy I've been with a mascara in a really long time. So I want to go ahead and blot my face and see how that works out. It has not gotten into my laugh lines or anything, but it's breaking up around the nose, which I think almost every foundation does. Now I'm really curious how this is gonna wear if I put the Sisley Blur Expert Powder on underneath, because this really is a nice matte foundation for me. I think it wore really well. You can see on my chin, it's starting to look like it's sitting up on top, but you can only see that from close up from far away and without my glasses you can't even tell <laughs> okay so 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 far this is a win for me I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the month this video is gonna go up later than when I first got it so I'll be wearing it for a few days by the time I get to the end of the month product roundup okay let me know if you guys have any questions down below thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload a new video and i'll see you next time